Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude and welcome. Well, it's also Steve, but welcome back to another Nimble Nimbus update video. This is pretty much what I've been doing uh, almost exclusively in my life now, other than, of course, family and real life thing. But pretty much I, I, I come home from work, uh, I do some coding, you know, I spend time with family, wife goes to bed, do some more coding. So I'm trying to get this game really to be as good as possible. In this past update, there was a lot of stuff. I, I thought last week's update was big, but this one, there is way more stuff. So I'm gonna, just going to go down each and every item and talk about it a little bit and then just have... Because I can't just have it all on this on the side of the screen here. It's just, there's too much. There's too much. So I'm going to go over it all and um, you guys got to download the game yourself to play. It will be coming to iOS next week officially. There was some stuff on Twitter about that. I'll, I'll get to more of that as time comes. But there's some good stuff happening. <clears throat> so the first thing I did was I, I lowered the user sensitivity to give the player less sporadic control of the character. Uh, so I added a longer delay because for a while when you were kind of moving your finger, it would it, the frame delay was only was very thin. So every time you would like jitter your finger, it would... So I, 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 ra I raised that delay to lower the sensitivity to make the, the player a little bit easier to control. Uh, I added high score as a database item to prepare for a global leaderboard. So if you have access to the database, you will see there's, a, there's an empty high score uh, thing there. I've got to figure out how to get that to work. But uh, I, I was working on that for like two days. I could not figure it out. So I just pushed the update without it. It's, it's close though. It's getting there. <clears throat> I changed the way that the uh, special weapons activate. Uh, prior to the prior to today, it was you got a drop that would activate a special weapon, and then you had to hold the charge, and then once it was charged, you swiped up and it would activate the weapon. That's gone now. Uh, what I did was I made it so once you got the special weapon, every every weapon has its own um, special weapon kind of parameters in the database. So based on your weapon, it uh, it talks to the database and it goes, okay, how many charges do I have for that weapon? Uh, okay, I got four charges. Then you have uh, four ammo, essentially, that at any point you could swipe up to use. And then once you use all four ammo, uh, the ability goes away. And then once you get another drop, you can you got more ammo. So uh, there is... I don't know why I've talked about it. Uh, there's another weapon as well. There's another... There's a fire weapon. Uh, it's a fireball. And it... Uh, its special weapon is like a, it's like a fuse that goes off. And then it hits an, a, an enemy. And then it explodes in like a firework. And all the fireworks can, can hurt people. I added all the weapons to the database as well. So now when a player, uh, I fine tune this in the upcoming update, so I'll just explain how it is. Uh, when a player creates an account, it uh, it has all, it creates uh, database pathways for all of your, all the weapons based on weapons in the global database. So the weapons are up there uh, and then it creates pathways and that way it's set up so that eventually when you start getting like percentage modifiers, uh, it'll take your percentage modifier in your pathway, put it against the global stat of the weapon, and then combine those, and that'll be the eventual, you know, the actual um, damage of the weapon. Right now, it goes just off the global numbers. So if at any point I wanted to nerf any weapon or buff any weapon, uh, I can make it stronger, I can make it go shoot faster, I can make it a longer delay in between shots. Uh, I can do that right from database so that a player every have an update the game. All I got to do is change one number in the database, and the weapon gets changed. So I can add nerfs and buffs like that. And then I've set it up so that the users have their own pathways now, which means, so eventually when there are skill trees, which I am planning to make skill trees, uh, the, the user's pathways will have the skill tree modifiers, and then it'll just, comp it'll just take those numbers, uh, add them to the global numbers, and the final output is how your weapon does. That way different people have different weapons based on the same base weapon. So there is that. A lot of stuff. Uh, I, I changed the character page as well. I'm going to be changing that in the next update, but I changed the character page to reflect the user's experience, and I've set up for a, a equipment interface. So what I did was um, I took the user page, and uh, you know I'll probably have some of the stuff on the screen at, over, over some point in time uh, of this video, but there is... Uh, I'll probably just have screenshots of all the changes and stuff. Uh, it just kind of works. There's just a lot of stuff. So I've taken the, the page. So now uh, players have their own experience points. They have their own level. And each weapon has its own level uh, and uh, tokens. And the tokens are not in use right now. The tokens are going to be when I get skill trees. You will use those tokens for that weapon to use for the corresponding skill tree. So it seems pretty easy. Every 100 uh, defeats that a weapon has it raises it by one level. So it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, you know, pretty simple to go off of. And then uh, obviously different experience scaling amount for your user level. You can see all that from the character page, and that all updates, and you can change your weapons from the character page and all that stuff. So there's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening there. 
Um, other changes that I made. So I changed the background sc scrolling formula. I think uh, I was messing it up because I was trying to make a defined parameters for how it scales. But uh, I changed it to uh, the height of the canvas and the device uh, times the local scaling value, which is in there, uh, plus the position of the background. So instead of just being like a standard number, I tried to make it more dependent on the phone, which I thought I did in the first place, but I think I did this time. So. Um, error messages are now generated from the database itself for better accuracy. So before, there would just be an error message pop up when you're trying to create an account, and you're like, I don't know why. But now, now it'll tell you why. Uh, added a total players value to the database, so I can always check how many players there are, uh, or total accounts. Uh, added a version code check, so eventually, uh, when it has the version code in the game, it'll compare it to the version code that is on the database, and if they don't match, you gotta update, man. Gotta update. Um, I removed sandbox mode, removed the high score button, and I put those... I put the high score button on the character page. Uh, I changed the wind to just whole numbers between 0 to 4 instead of going to point 2 for point scoring. And then I've given the player more starting HP based on their wind strength. So uh, their HP equals 100 uh, plus wind strength times 4. If you have 4 times wind strength, you have 180 HP. If you have 0 times, you get 100. Just make things a little better. Eventually, I'll be having an HP stat uh, that is, that you'll, you know, you'll, the more you play, the more they'll be able to level up and you can get higher to the stat. Um, added uh, enemies to database and their values retrieved from the database. So you can go to the enemies page and always check out their, their data there and all that is taken from the database. So if I ever wanted to change something um, about the enemy, I could do that again without the user ever having to update. Um, I've updated the play store graphics. I've moved the uh, ad to before the character page as opposed to before the, the, the game itself, just to make things a little easier and a little less annoying for, for new players. And I've added counts for each individual weapon's uh, kills, which I talked about before. So there wasn't a real lot in this one. There's a real lot. I know I use this phrase a lot, but I've set up a framework for an equipment, for a player's equipment now. So uh, right now there's just the weapon, but eventually there's going to be armors, auras, and cosmetic items that you're going to be able to add. And uh, they're going to be based on an equipment uh, reference in the database, which means even if you set up your equipment and then you uninstall the app, take your phone, throw it into a fucking trash compactor, get a new phone in three years, we download the game, it's still going to have the same equipment as you had uh, when you first uh, uninstalled the app. So that's adding important, uh, and that's uh, definitely setting up a framework for equipment, and it's really going to help me when I want to make a monster-based RPG game, because then I can um, use that equipment on a much larger scale to give every enemy its own uh, its own attacks, and those attacks will be set up the same way as equipment is set up, so there's a lot, a lot to look forward to. There's a lot going to be happening, and I am super amped to be a part of making this. I'm super amped to be making this. I'm super amped that the, while the interest uh, isn't all that high, there's still interest itself. And there's always more people playing every day, which I think is fascinating. And eventually, soon, there will be a uh, iOS version. And for next week, I am hoping to get a world boss type event kind of set up and ready to go. Uh, more about that down the line. I don't know. I just, that's just what I'm hoping. I'm going to start doing it and we'll see what it takes to get into it. But for now, that is how that's going to be happening. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the game. Hope you enjoy the videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.